This is Charlotte. And this is Alexander. One two, one here. And today they're helping their dad, Adam, sort out eggs on their family's egg farm in South Australia. Each egg is uh, checked and, uh, for cracks and then the machine weighs every individual egg. The eggs are sorted based on their size before they're packaged up ready for the shops. These eggs are free range. That means the chickens that laid them are allowed to roam around outside. But not all chickens are clucky enough, I mean lucky enough, to have this much space. If you've checked out eggs at the supermarket, you'd know there are a few different kinds to choose from. Caged eggs, meaning the chickens live in a cage. Barn eggs, which are laid by chickens kept inside a barn or shed. And free range eggs. Lots of people say they're willing to pay more for free-range eggs because they reckon the chickens have a better life. But until now, there's been a bit of confusion about what free-range actually means. Take Adam's farm, for example. On our farm uh, at Adelaide Hills Pasture Eggs, we have a stocking density of 65 chickens per hectare. So that's one chook for every three-bedroom uh, three bedroom house. But other farms that also labelled their eggs free-range kept many more chickens in a much smaller area. And there were no clear rules about how much of the day free-range hens could spend outside. Many farmers and animal rights campaigners said that wasn't fair. So, in an effort to combat the confusion, new laws have been introduced for farmers who want to rock the free-range label on their eggs. The rules say there have to be 10,000 chooks or less in each hectare. And every carton of free-range eggs needs to clearly show how much space their chickens have. We currently have our name and the size of the eggs, which is important, and we also have free-range uh, written on there. But so our new logo will have a, a big red dot with 65 pence per hectare. There are also new guidelines being put together for caged and barn-laid eggs that are designed to help farmers look after the welfare of their chickens. The new laws have definitely cleared up the confusion about what free range means, but not everyone's a fan of them. It could make things more expensive for farmers and maybe for customers too. Some say the laws are unnecessary because most farmers already try to look after their chickens. Others, like Adam, say free range farmers should have to give their chickens more room. You're not getting uh, a, a true free range product anymore. Now, that's one, one chook per square metre. There's not a lot of room for her to live her entire life. While the laws have changed, life for the chooks on this farm will continue on as usual. And even on soggy days like today, these hard-working chickens will keep the eggs coming.